वर्णिवेशरमणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिराननाबुज पूजित सुरनरोतमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित धर्मनंदनमह विचित श्री घनश्याम महाराज जय सुप्रीम ऑल माइट ही अवर बिल आउट घनश्याम महाराज और पाथ में कटू लिब्रेशन पूज्य गुरु जी पूज्य भगत जी एंड ऑल ऑफ यू इज जय स्वामी नारायण एज एवरेज संडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट भक्त चिंतामनीज सम सिलेक्ट चैप्टर्स which describes some miracle happen in the life of some devotees as well as some santo of bhagwan swami narayan before 200, 234 years bhagwan swami narayan himself the supreme lord himself manifested on this earth as a human being after manifestation bhagwan himself behaved as an ordinary human but still even though he was behaving as an ordinary human being still sometimes he makes some miracle in the life of some devotees some santo some female devotees even some child devotees in the same way not only this but bhagwan swami ran himself touring all over the region of gujarat not only that but before coming in our satsang fellowship bhagwan himself as a very little age very younger age he also traveled throughout india only to liberate countless millions of jews who ever come in company or who ever come in contact of bhagwan himself even at once he definitely will attain the ultimate liberation not only this birth but even after many many birds this is his only mission to liberate countless millions of souls and bring many many thousands of souls to his aksardham that is his mission and for that bhagwan himself thought for this purpose for his mission without any help without any other aid nobody can do such tremendous work on this earth as a human being and that's why bhagwan himself came on this earth not only himself but also with his divine muktas from aksardham bhagwan swami nar had 500 main santo they are known as they are popularly known as panso paramhanso they all are divine personalities some of them are a manifest form of saintliness like muktanan swami some of their santo who have a uh, qualities of unfa- uh, unflinching devotion or affection only for the form of god like premanand swami on the other hand some scholar not only scholars but who perfectly know the form and attributes and powers of bhagwan swami narayan as it is they are such scholars of sanskrit they are like nityanand swami and others in the same way bhagwan swami narayan had all kinds of santo at the time and sadguru sinirskulan swami whose work we all sunday discuss this bhakta chintamani the author of this book is sadguru sinirskulan swami nirskulan swami was popularly known as in our sampraday as a manifest form of detachment detachment uh, detachment means vairagya 
one who has no kind of any attachment with worldly things worldly matters anything he has no concern with these worldly matters that is his main attributes now sadguru nishkur hanand swami himself wrote his own incident he had experience in his life how bhagwan swami narayan is supreme god and he had himself what he had experienced he had read down in this bhakta chintamani is 134 chapter bhagwan swami narayan was the supreme lord manifested on this earth before whom there are many many avatars came on this earth but this is the supreme lord himself and that's why the powers and some attributes what bhagwan swami narayan shows no any other avatar besides bhagwan swami narayan can reveal the same miracles same powers same attributes sadguru sri nishkuran and swami read down his own experience in this 134 chapter in bhakta chintamani once upon a time when nishkuran and swami had not accept this renunciant fold a uh, renunciant order of life before that he was a staunch devotee of sadguru ramanand swami nishkudanand swami's former name was lalji sutar he was living in a village of sekpat sekpat was just near to rizan kach once upon a time after ramanand swami's departing from this earth when bhagwan swami narayan he had accepted the succession of ramanand swami and accepted the uh, responsibilities of this fellowship then after after accepting the responsibility of this swami narayan or uddhav sampraday then bhagwan swami narayan himself travel to preach and teach the people the values of satsang and the real life and code at, code of conducts bhagwan swami narayan never travel alone but many times he travel alone without any companion without any santo or devotees and in the same way Once upon a time Bhagwan Swami Narayan himself came to Sekpat without any santo or without any other devotees Bhagwan was alone Now in Sekpat Bhagwan Swami Narayan stay at Lalji Sutar's home Lalji Sutar was married but his wife and his two children they went to his father-in-law's home Now Lalji Sutar was alone in a home and uh, another person who is in the home was his mother Now when Bhagwan Swami Narayan came to Sekpat Lalji Sutar welcomed him and he pleaded to Bhagwan Please Maharaj stay in my home Bhagwan Swami Narayan stayed for one night and at night before going to sleep bhagwan swami narayan asked for something to lalji sutar bhagwan swami narayan asked lalji sutar is there any person who can guide me to the way of kach i want to go there in kach to meet my devotees lalji sutar thought for quite some time and then he said maraj i am very very uh habituated to go many times in this region and that's why i am a perfect guide to show you and guide you in kach region even whenever and whatever place you want to go in kach i can guide you 
even i make some even i make some uh, facility food and water and others for you in uh, in the midway then bhagwan swami and says i want to go there to meet my devotees and that's why if you are ready then we will uh, we will depart for kutch next morning lalji said okay now lalji sutar prepare all the other things next early morning he took some food and water also as there is no any other transportation facilities and that's why they have to walk they have only one way to go to kutch and that's why they had to walk now by walking to kutch uh, by when one walk towards kutch there are many days passed and that's why rajasthar thought in his mind that i require some money in the way and that's why he had took some gold coins but as lalji suta knew about the robbers and decoys in the way that's why lalji suta had put those coin those gold coins uh under his shoes at the time the shoes maker specially designed the shoes so that anybody can put some coins or some money in the shoes so that robbers or decoys they could not find out where is the money and that's why in the same way lalji sutar had uh, the same shoes and lalji sutar had put uh, some gold coins in the shoes now in one bag he had some food and the another he had some water now lalji sutar said maharaj in next morning early morning maharaj i am ready if we want to go let we start to walk towards kutch then bhagwan swami narayan along with lalji sutar they started to walk from sikpat to go to kutch region now this time bhagwan swami narayan was very <coughs> his special and divine mood and that's why he desired to take an exam of lalji sutar in the exam of his faith his trust on bhagwan and that's why in the midway after two or three hours in the midway one beggar very poor man encounter in the way He was very hungry and that's why he required some food. When he asked some be- when he begging some food from Bhagwan Swami Narayan, Bhagwan Swami Narayan immediately instructed Lalji Sutar to give up all his food to this beggar because he was very poor and hungry. And in in this way Lalji Sutar <coughs> gave all the food to that poor man. Now Lalji Sutar had only water and some gold coins in his shoes. Now after some walk uh, after walking some distance uh, another man encounter in the way. He asked for some water. He said I am very thirsty and if you cannot uh, if you cannot give me water I'll not leave. And that's why Bhagwan instructed to Lalji Lalji please give water to this person he is very thirsty now water is also finished after walking some distance now it was an evening without eating and without drinking a water lalji sutar became very very exhausted because of dehydration even he could not speak a word but still as he has faith in the form of bhagwan swami narayan he is just walking with bhagwan swami narayan now bhagwan swami narayan want to take an exam of lalji sutar's faith in bhagwan 
Swaminarayan and that's why only because of his desire those two person first beggar and the another person who want who require water they both came to the way even though bhagwan swaminarayan harder lalji suta to give up water and food still lalji had no any even doubt in bhagwan swaminarayan that now what will we do even he had not asked even a single time to bhagwan that what will be what will we do at evening or at next next day what will eat or what will we drink water and as all we know that this is such reason and there is a scarcity of water because that is a desert in this in this exam lalji sutra was passed he was successfully passed this exam now after that when it was an evening and without drinking and without eating anything lalji sutra because of dehydration he was exhausted once lalji sutra and bhagwan himself they just finding any particular place or any village so that they can pass the night but lalji could not walk and he could not speak a word and he fell unconscious bhagwan swami narayan and lalji sutar they are near us ocean they are walking near a beach but they they were they find uh, they are in search of any tree or any village so that they can pass their night but as there is desert and there is ocean there is nothing there but now lalji sutra fell unconscious now bhagwan swami narayan instructed lalji to drink water lalji said maharaj this is a uh, ocean and you know only salty water in the ocean how can i drink it first lalji sutar had tried to drink salty water to save his life but as he was very dehydrated because of dehydration his stomach could not bear the salty water and he vomited Now Lalji Sutar said Maharaj I cannot drink this water and if I could not drink water then I will not live I definitely meet death then Bhagwan said no this is a very sweet water you you can drink it then as Lalji Sutar had from faith he had trust in words of Bhagwan Swami Narayan he believed that this is not an ordinary human being this is bhagwan himself this is a supreme personality of godhead and that's why as he had from faith in words of bhagwan swami narayan and after even though he had tried the salty water his stomach cannot assume the salty water still he again because of his trust and his faith in bhagwan swami narayan's word he just started to drink water when he tasted water he felt some extraordinary peace and divine divine things that this water which he had just tasted and tried to drink before some minutes that was very salty but now because of bhagwan swami narayan's word the same salty water transfer into very sweet water now lalji sutar had drunk full of his stomach because the water is very sweet now when he satisfied and when he become healthy again he got his consciousness and he remove his dehydration and everything now bhagwan swami narayan and lalji sutar both are ready to departed from there and uh, as the night is near 
to fall and that's why they have to reach any village or any village or any other uh, safe place so that they can pass their night but uh, uh, and Bhagwan Swaminarayan started to walk and he had walked five or six steps then Lalji Sutta thought in his mind that now let me taste again this water then again he want uh, when he tastes the water the water is again salty now Lalji Sutta thought in his mind that only because of my only because of myself Bhagwan Swaminarayan had transferred this salty water of ocean into very sweet water. There is no any other avatar besides Bhagwan Swaminarayan can change the water of the uh, salty water of the ocean into very sweet water like a river. But this is the supreme God and that's why he can do anything he can do anything any way anywhere anytime. And that's why Bhagwan had make a miracle and he had changed the salty water of ocean into very sweet drinkable water. Now Lalji understood divinity and glory and greatness of Bhagwan Swaminarayan. Now after departing that place when they walk only a little steps one divine person appeared there. Lalji Sutar had shown before but he had he knew that there there was no anybody here on this beach and that's why Lalji stopped quite some time and he was thinking that who can be this person because before there was no one here and automatically appeared this person that person do the darshan of Bhagwan, and after having darshan, the stranger he disappeared from that place. This another strange thing experience Lalji Sutta. Once that is the water is changed, salty water changed into sweet water. Now this divine person, a stranger, came and meaning appear and disappear. Now, when they walk towards his destination, in the way, another divine person came there in the way and Bhagwan Swamina himself made that person talk for some time and even Bhagwan himself embraced that person. This is the another this is the third another strange thing experienced by Lalji Sutar. Who can be this person? Even I did not know that person. I have never seen that person before. And Bhagwan himself knew him and Bhagwan embraced him. Now after reaching one of the village, outskirts of the village, and there was a pond of water and on bank of that uh, pond, uh, Bhagwan himself and Lalji Sutar uh, des uh, decided to pass the night there. There was a huge tree, and under the tree, Lalji Sutar and Bhagwan himself sat down and they uh, just want to sleep. Lalji Sutar massaging Bhagwan Swaminarayan's leg, and as the way was very rough and uh, way was very rough and very tough. And that's why Bhagwan had some prick in his legs. Lalji fetch out with uh, he has a particular instrument for that. And that's why with their tools, Lalji Sutar fetch out uh, pricks from Bhagwan's leg. And there he found out Bhagwan on in the legs of Bhagwan Swaminarayan uh, sixteen divine signs, which is described in the scriptures. Now, when Bhagwan Swaminarayan wake up in uh, next morning, then after completing all the daily rituals, daily routine, uh, after having bath, worshiping, etc. Now, Bhagwan uh, Lalji Sutar asked to Bhagwan Swaminarayan. He asked about uh, water. 
he asked about a uh, first strange person meet at uh, meet at uh, at beach and the uh, another strange person to whom bhagwan himself gave a uh, embrace now bhagwan swami narayan explain everything to lalji suta bhagwan say to lalji lalji first you saw a stranger who came at beach that that was my mukt from aksardam he appeared there to only for my darshan and after having darshan he disappeared there now the another strange person who met in the way to whom i am ras that was nobody but ramanand swami himself he came there with his divine form from my divine aksardam and the water bhagwan swami narayan said to lalji i have changed the salty water of ocean into sweet water so that you can drink it in this way lalji sudar has experienced this much miracle in his life this much divinity this is not only a miracle but this is this miracle is itself a uh, evidence of manifestation of the supreme god himself and with experience this evidence of manifestation of god himself lalji sudar understood he had already understood the greatness and glory of bhagwan swami narayan because he himself came on this earth from the divine abode of aksardam but to make us and uh, to give us this knowledge of supremacy of bhagwan swami narayan he had acting uh, he had doing an acting for our benefit and he preaches by this incident that bhagwan has tremendous power he can do anything and everything at any place any time but the condition require that is you have to develop you have to cultivate unflinching form faith and determination in the form of bhagwan swami narayan this is only precondition when lalji sutar experienced this much evidence of bhagwan swami narayan supremacy he had read down in bhakta chintamani's 134 chapter and after that one village to another lalji sutar and bhagwan swami narayan reach at one of the village in kach region that is a village of adoi that is the same village of lalji sutar lalji sutar's father in law's house in that village and lalji sutar's wife and his two sons they also there now bhagwan swami narayan again want to exam uh, want to take an exam of lalji sutar they stay at outskirts of the village of adoi there bhagwan say i am very hungry i want to eat something lalji said mara this is my father in law's village if we both if you come with me to my father in law's house there we both can have a very delicious foods but bhagwan said no i want to food here only and not as the not as uh, your relatives food but if you beg some food from your uh, father in law's house then i can eat only that food otherwise i will not eat but lalji said this is my father in law's house and the other villagers also they knew me how can i go there to beg food then bhagwan said i make one another thing i make you in such a way uh, such a 
I make you in such a way that nobody can recognize you as Lalji Sutar. Then Lalji Sutar said, that's fine Maharaj. Then at the same time, Maharaj ordered Lalji Sutar to give up all these her clothes and everything, even hair and his mustache and beard, everything. He said, and Bhagwan Swaminarayan gave him a clothes of a saint, the saffron color clothes. Now Lalji understood in his mind that Bhagwan Swaminarayan want to give me an initiation, and he want to uh, want me to make a saint. And at the same time, without any delay or without any asking any question or without any doubting, Lalji Sutar became a saint. He gave up all his wearing clothes and wearing a uh, clothes of santo like this uh, saffron color clothes and even he had given up all of his hair and mustache and beard and everything now he become a son then mara said your name is niskuran now niskuran and swami himself went into his father in law's village for begging food for Maharaj and Ma as Maharaj has in instructed him to go to his father-in-law's house only to beg food others food Maharaj will not eat that's why Alji direct go to his father-in-law's house now there he begs some food at standing before the door Niskuran Swami said loudly, Swami Narayan Hare Sachidanand Prabhu. Then his mother in law they thought in his uh, in her mind that this wise I have listen anywhere else. Then when she came out of his house to give some food to the uh, food to that sant but she could not recognize but when she saw on the face of Nishkudan and Swami she recognized that this is n some mistake this is my son-in-law now immediately she came back in house and she instructed his daughter Kankubai, a wife of Lalji Sutar that your husband Lalji Sutar become a son and he came here to begging some food then Kankubai, wife of Lalji Sutar he immediately came out from the house because first when his mother when her mother had said she could not believe that Lalji Sutar become a son. Now, when she came out of the house and when she herself saw the face of Lalji Sutar, that this become son really. Now, first she broke out. She loudly cried there. But Niskuran Swami firmly said, Niskuran Swami not a not an ordinary man. He was a man of firm determination. As once he had decided to become a son, then he never stepped back from that way or order of renunciant life. That's why firmly Niskulan Swami said to his own wife that I am not your husband. I am a son of Bhagwan Swaminarayan. If you want to feed some food to Bhagwan Swaminarayan, please give me some food, otherwise I'll depart it from here. I'll leave this village. And Bhagwan will remain hungry without food. Kankubai had given some food, but as she was lady, so she had decided that let me try again. If Lalji Sutar, she did not know that this is Niskuran and Swami. 
and uh, that's why she thought in in her mind that perhaps if let me make another try to make him understood that uh, please came back in this life of householder now he as lalji sutar had two sons and they are also there so kankubai wife of lalji sutar she took both of his child and they throw one child into the feet of lalji sutar but lalji sutar said i am not such a person who can by who can with the attachment or affection with body relation came back from this uh, divine life of this saintliness once i have renounced this household life this worldly things worldly relation i will never have uh, even a slight attachment with these things and finally kankubai had given food for maharaj and with this begging food from his own wife lalji sutar in the form of niskuran and swami came back to maharaj and there maharaj ate this food and gave some prasad to niskuran and swami there after staying for some hours bhagwan swami and instructed and commanded to niskuran and swami read down a scripture there and stay there outskirts of his father in law's village and write down one scripture but niskuran swami said maharaj i have not studied in school i did not know how to write what to write how can i write down a scripture then bhagwan said you just try because of my power because of my wish that will become a scripture and niskuran swami there started to write and that holy scripture become a holy scripture really holy scripture and that is a yam dand the first scripture written by niskuran swami after that niskuran swami in throughout his life he had wrote 23 scriptures including this bhakta chintamani 22 other scriptures they are collected combinedly in niskuran the kavya this is a com- combined book and the name given by other santo that is niskuran the kavya and the another great scripture that is this bhakta chintamani we every sunday read and discuss something about some miracles happen in the life of devotees santos female devotees and even child devotees now this is what niskuran swami himself had experienced some evidence of manifestation of bhagwan swami and his divinity and supremacy and the same experience he had written in this holy book of bhakta chintamani we have discussing about this incident of lalji sutar or uh, meaning niskuran and swami and the another incident written in the same chapter 134 that is the incident and miracles happens in life of sachidanand swami we will continue it in next sunday by saying this jai swami narayan shri ganeshyam maharaj ni jai